president uh, considered uh, the final word by the White House, at least as America's longest war draws down? Or does the president uh, plan to mark this in some other way when all of the troops are out? Uh, well, Jeff, I would say that we, we are, uh, the president will continue to update the American people as commander in chief why he's making choices uh, uh, to, that are in our national security interests. Today is an example of that. Uh, and today is an opportunity to uh, communicate again why he made the decision he made and communicate again why it's in our interests. Uh, so I'm not going to rule out when, if he will or will speak on Afghanistan in the future. In terms of plans uh, for the end, uh, uh, for our men and women uh, coming back, uh, I don't have anything to preview, but we don't, we're not going to have a, a mission accomplished moment in this regard. It's a 20-year um, war that has not been won militarily. Uh, we are uh, proud of the men and women who have served, uh, incredibly grateful. The President will note that in his remarks today, how grateful he is for uh, their service and the families who have sacrificed uh, over the last 20 years. And we will continue to press for a political outcome and a political solution. But uh, beyond that, uh, I think we're going to continue to look for ways to communicate why we make the choices we make. You mentioned mission accomplished. Has this mission not been accomplished? Well, I would say we did exactly what we wanted to do. What I was referring to, Jeff, is uh, we're not um, having a moment of celebration. Uh, we're having a moment where we feel it's in our national security interest to bring our men and women serving home. And we feel it's in our national security interest for uh, Afghan uh, forces to be in the lead. Uh, we did exactly what we intended to do, uh, and certainly that is uh, something, thanks to the leadership of our military, we have achieved. Uh, however, uh, there is not benefit, in our view, in continuing to fight this war militarily. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Jen. If, if the military would 